Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where I'll be running through the presentation view within iMyMap 5. For this demonstration I've prepared this map called Visit Wales. As you can see in the setup, the basic structure is very simple, but I've included links to external sites and I've also included notes on multiple branches within my MyMap as shown here. Inserting links and notes within your MyMap really make your presentation stand out and I'll show you how these can enhance your presentation to your audience. So let's get started. To enter presentation view, it's very very simple. In the home tab on the ribbon toolbar, simply select the presentation view. As you can see on screen, I now have my presentation my map in front of me. I'm simply going to use the left and right keys on my keyboard to animate my presentation You'll notice that the presentation animates branch by branch and takes our audience on a journey with us, demonstrating the ideas I've placed on my mind map. As you can see, the presentation view looks great and really makes your ideas stand out where you can talk about each keyword for as long or as little as you wish, keeping your audience engaged. Just to make you aware, as with other presenting tools, you can use a clicker or return on your keyboard any keys that you're comfortable with to present and navigate through your presentation. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen you'll see this little cogs option where we have some additional options. The top two options are next and previous and I can use those to navigate through my presentation. We also have two view types mind map which is the default or if I flick into 3D you will notice now that my presentation is on a 3D canvas. It really makes your presentation stand out. Other options available include the animation options such as branch by branch which is what I've been showing you or by main branches. If I flick to by main branches now when I click next rather than each branch being drawn individually the main branch with all of its descendants will be drawn on screen. This just provides you with an option to present in a slightly different manner. We also have screen to black, screen to white. If you're using an interactive whiteboard or a blackboard, this hides all the information. You can click on the options here, or you can simply use the B and the W key on your keyboard for the same effect. Flip screens is really useful when you present using an external monitor or a projector. And what I will do is I will set that up in a second and show you how this works. I'm just going to go back to the view option and enable my map view. Within my presentation you notice that I have a link icon where I place the link on this branch and you have two options. You can either click on any links you've attached to files or websites and these will open manually or in the options you can also select automatically open links. If you turn this on when you have any links on your branches these will be opened for you automatically. Give it a go yourself. OK, I've now just plugged my laptop up to an external projector to demonstrate the two screen mode when using presentation view. Now to do this, all you need is an external monitor or projector like I have myself today. And make sure you have your settings on your laptop or computer to be extended so your computer knows that you have two independent screens. Before I go back into presentation view with two screens set up, as you, as you can see in my right side panel in the notes option, I have a large amount of text and from my mind map I have many notes just to help me when I'm presenting on this subject. So when I get to the keyword mountains I have a paragraph about mountains. So if I go back to your presentation view, welcome to our presenter screen. As mentioned, because I've now plugged up to an external projector, when running on my map's presentation view, the software will display additional information to me as a presenter. I'll run through what we see on screen now. In the top left hand corner we have the slide dialog and this is a visual representation of what the users are seeing being projected. Underneath we have the next slide dialog and as the name explains this shows me what will be displayed next in my presentation. This function is really really useful and ensures that your delivery is very very slick. So as a demonstration you can see in the top there this shows me what's being presented behind me on the wall 
and below I know that when I click next the branch musicians will be drawn. Now on the right hand side the largest dialog box is our notes dialog and as you can see as I navigate through the presentation the notes that I've attached within the my map are now pulled through and shown just to me. This is a fantastic feature and it means that when I'm presenting if I have a large amount of information behind each keyword it's available to me as a presenter and only I can see it. Personally it gives me a lot of confidence when presenting and also any information you deliver that has to be exact such as quotes or statistics can be placed in the notes. Now below the dialogues we have two timers. The one on the left labeled time is how long my overall presentation has been and on the right hand side we have this slide timer which shows me that I've been on the climate slide for 1 minute and 30 seconds. If I click next you can see that the slide timer always updates to show you how long you've been on each individual slide. So that's presentation view. Have a go yourselves and if you have access to a second monitor or projector I'd always recommend you plug up and use the software to its full potential. Remember to watch the Insert in Information tutorial as this will help your presentation stand out and add a lot more depth and content to make your job easier and more professional.